Gray is probably one of the most disgusting farming servants in the game, especially for a welfare. The, like, it's wild. It is wild the quality of the AoE assassins that exist for, like, <laughs> like, assassins is really, like, the most memed on class or, like, them not having, like, it's either, like, you're a good assassin or you're a shit assassin. Like, there pretty much is no in-between. Like, you look at Plushie's, uh, Plushie's version of the 3,000, uh, day celebration ticket. He straight up said that, like, no assassin on the list was, like, worth you pulling on the ticket for. And it's a two-part thing on that. A, it is that a lot of the permanent assassins need buffs. A lot of them have just, like, bad hit counts from year one. The other thing is just the welfares are so good. We, with the evocation, we just got Shiki and Gray. Kichi isn't back yet, but Kichi's farming is really good, considering like she only has a twenty. Like Kichi's farming is solid too. So like, why pick an assassin if the welfares are as good as they are, and we're probably going to get like kichi pretty soon too gray is like and i could show right over here gray is a monster you need i believe like mp2 vich maybe uh and i'm gonna like ignore vich putting her own shit on herself um because we're not doing power mods yeah, you need about MP2 Vich before you are passing up Gray. And like MP2 Vich, you are using like four. You're using four five star supports on that farming. So mm, th that party cost is way high. That party cost is ridiculously high. Gray, her farming is really good you can do the normal buster farming stuff and if you want more damage rail her she scales very very well if her base attack is high if you 120 her or not 120 if you get her to 100 you will see a vast improvement in damage like your five your five stars aren't going to be keeping up and if you could enable her power mod which is a lot easier if you have Summer Wu Zetian. You'll be able to force it whenever you want instead of being pigeonholed into extremely specific niches or, or power mod only affecting the trash mobs on very specific enemy waves. We'll get into that in a, again in a little bit. But yeah, Gray, she scales off very well with base attack. If you want to grail her, it's not the worst thing in the world. It will probably save you a lot of headache in farming too. For some of the 90 plus, if Bray's damage is good, like if it's all Rider node and it's like mixed of uh, like mixed of enemy setup, like three, one or two, one, three or something like that, Bray can just like power through it and just like, she won't care. She will just like hit so hard that you just power through it. For a four star, her base attack, and like, I'm not saying she needed to be grailed because her attack is low. Her base attack for a four star is good. Even that with a, the assassin uh, negative modifier, her base attack is still good. Like 9.5, like that is good for a four star. It's not below 9K. It's not sitting at 7K like Lily. Just remember, Artoria Lily is technically a welfare like Gray. Just remember that. They could have made Gray a whole lot worse. God, my God. Fucking setting Ellie and Artoria Lily. The bar, like, the bar can't get much lower than that. The <laughs> bar only gets lower. You put, like, one stars. Uh, HP. This is low, though. But... I mean, she is technically supposed to be a living human. It wouldn't make that much sense if she was uh, tankier than servants. 
like lore accurate reasoning i don't think rongominiad is like turning her from a uh, level one chump to level 99 mafia boss just because ad is uh teasing her doesn't make her that strong she needs true artoria strength she needs she needs someone to feed her to get her that strong he's lacking him her stomach force is lacking the tr that true dragon energy all right i'm gonna stop i'm gonna stop all right star weight star gen these are normal assassin numbers and he got the triple quick it's kind of awkward what supports he'd actually want uh in challenge quest instead of bringing an oberon you'd probably want to bring like an og scotty because while roller scotty would give some buffs to help Bray, they're not enough to like justify like how much more uh og scotty would actually be helping gray because triple quick making these quick cards bite and refund better awesome it would give her more sustainability she won't just be like burn burning out super quickly but just remember like scotty limitations and all that and especially you are on more both more and less of a timer than normal quick servants like you kind of have to mess around with it it's it would be more of an esports situation anyway while we're like scotty's coming in because a bitch died or you or some other servant that you plug suited into uh died but hit counts are fine there's nothing wrong with them it's just that he's cons like considering I don't know she does have a lot of cards to refund mp I, I i don't think you can be too picky on this considering like she has a buster mp like these are the only way she's getting her mp back outside of like brute forcing all right again this skill is discussing if you have summer woo because summer woo can turn any enemy you fight including servants undead servants are almost never undead ever it's it would not make sense for a servant to be undead because they're not living bodies they don't have actual bodies they're made of magic how the fuck do you turn a servant into a zombie outside of uh a salem i think salem is the only time that this ever came up where you were fighting a servant that actually had it uh also shufu from summer eight and also the event break came in but yeah no you're you're not fighting servants that are bosses it it literally doesn't happen you need summer wuzetian to force this and then summer wuzetian well i'm pretty sure enable all these other servants so gray summer martha who is also one of like the highest tier buffers for like 90 plus nodes uh yeah no you give now you give every servant a 50 percent power mod for esports yeah no like the gross this is some gross stuff you can do with esports for undead because of martha coming out and summer woo they turn the mo like some of the most memed skills in the game and made them like actually really disgusting in the right situation is this going to come up in your farming absolutely fucking not like if you're what the fuck are you doing what the what the actual fuck are you doing if you're trying to bust your farm and you're popping summer woo's mp like how the fuck are you actually doing that so that whole thing again only for specific esports situations where gray is main dps is that gonna happen too often maybe maybe not depends on the challenge quest undead in farming is only gonna come up where you're killing trash mobs and again very limited on what enemies that actually is zombies like it, the skeletons like you guys should know what an undead is like it it's exactly how it sounds although some of these uh, black samurai that that one i would give a pass on whether that was undead or not um but yeah like if it's a if it's a ghost zombie skeleton it's undead are we clear on that all right hope uh, i hope we're clear on that and again uh, last thing on this can easily be double stacked with bitch back to back turns bitch and oberon don't give attack buffs 
So her being able to double stack a very high attack buff, like it's not Ibuki's, it's not Melison's, but it's not that far off it. And if you're finding Undead, this is like probably the highest stacking buff in the entire game. Like bar none, I don't think there's any skill in the game that is giving like this much raw stats that would actually be double stack with buster farming like juna uh i i think juna's uh power mod is like 50 that he's double stacking so gray does out damage him it's just that his power mod is so fucking easy to enable second skill cannot be worked with bitch uh if it could gray's damage here would probably be like 350,000, like maybe close to pushing 400,000. They put this invul there just to bump the cooldown or bump up the cooldown from five turns to six because this would have been an, a weaker version of a mana burst. Uh, they would they would have put it on a five and then you could have just shotgunned it uh, where you're popping it back to back turns with bitch. They really wanted to like not let people do that. So that's why this is like this. Are they ever going to buff this? I highly doubt it. If they buff it, they will make it three times three turns. But even then, that is so pushing it. It's not even funny because that still can be abused by bitch. If they buff gray again, I would not expect it to be this skill. They would buff this one, which you don't technically need to level this. Although it is really cool thinking about how much debuff resistance gray can have in a challenge quest. If you're double stacking this, that is 75% debuff resistance. Holy fucking shit. It is literally like pick one of four. It's a one in four chance that debuffs actually fucking land on you. One in four. Think about how many times you crit on an 80. No, that's a terrible example because you you never crit on the 80% cards. They always fucking fail. But like it goes from like take off uh take almost uh oh my god it's goes from 20 percent debuff resistance which is like the normal average number uh like a one in five chance of you resisting uh a debuff and taking that to three and four chance of you resisting the debuff It doesn't matter in farming whatsoever, but in challenge quests, you could do it. And in challenge quests, that's where Gray would see like most of her, of her kit like fully coming to life. But if you max this out, it does give you more options for the CE. The problem is the CE options to use with Gray are not good. She has one alternative to super scope and you would need this uh, you would need this skill lord and so would her mana loading okay we'll talk about that in a second independent action a plus 11 percent crit damage she doesn't have any crit in the kit nice scotty vich whoever you run her with would give her more stars or more stars and more crit damage but just having some crit damage in her kit nice again the base state debuff resistance which gets increased by this uh and mp gen 10 percent if you use the other face cards all the face cards except this one card it's really good considering base number is nice and high if you crit on the arts card you're gonna regen a lot Critting on the quick cards not as much but you'll get a good amount and you'll have crits for the next turn he has anti berserker as if her as a general farming again farmer against lancers or riders wasn't already good she hits berserkers even harder when she's a buster servant that doesn't care about refund in the first place this is just win harder button but mana loading is ease of use you uh you unlock max unlock this and you don't need an mob k scope He changed literally overnight from being able to buster farm. And how did they accomplish that goal? 
They gave her the Artori effect. They literally put Rongo Midiad's no normal effects on the MP, and that was it. And that overnight, it, like weaker version of it too, like just 10 instead of the 20. And overnight, she's like better. Overnight, she's like gets disgusting because now she's fully looping this MP. She's stacking this res down effect. So her MP will hit harder and the follow up cards will refund and hit harder as well. Just solid. You are going to be suffering. You will experience such pain if you do not already have these mats. This is going to be mind numbingly boring for you to farm because she needs so many mats of the lowest quality. Like the drop rate on these mats is not uh super low these are common mats you can farm it's just gonna take you a while if you don't already have the mats right now you are going to be suffering you are going to be in the in the trenches for a long time if they if you can equip a bonsi in a normal ce and then you also or this just becomes a passive. She just gets free damage. He gets uh, this part gets doubled by Oberon, and this is even more free damage. It does. It can't be double stacked with itch, but it's just more attack. It, it's just more. Assassins have some of the worst, uh, have some of the biggest gaps in like servant quality. Like you have. Uh, hold up. Okay. You have Needle Chris Assassin and Donzo. Where and Donzo she can't do farming unless you're using Chloe. And I believe that would be double Chloe too. You have these two down here, and then you have the Valks who are the most disgusting arts assassin farmers and literally just piss on her. And then you come up here and you have Tessica, Lipoka, and Koyanskaya. They're not at the top, but they're definitely more used than these two. Their welfares are like some of the best. Summer she Show is probably like the worst of all of the assassins and like she just got a buff or the what yeah the, the worst of the welfare assassins is probably summer she show even with the buff and even then she's not that bad you kind of can brute force her farming it's just like <laughs> you're going through too many extra stuff at that point like you are you are going the distance and basically buster farming with a quick servant at that point uh but i mean at least she's not a stolfo at least she's not a stolfo trying to quick loop that is actual buster farming on a quick servant huh <sighs> but yeah if you do not have like mp2 plus of like other aoe's like even then i would still recommend gray like it sucks what she has to farm but at least battery is not your main concern with buster farming all gray is really worried about for most of her damage is get this to six because then you can double stack it once you're able to double stack this in your farming you will have more damage he technically is able to do buster farming right out of the box as long as she's level 80 she can already start doing buster farming but if you want to see like really good damage, like this level of oh, wrong tab, if you want to see this level of damage in your buster farming, which by itself, like her MP2, like her wave two damage is kind of more than you actually need in most farming. Her wave one damage honestly can be more than what you need. Like if we're talking like general farming, like they're farming like the dragon teeth, you need to level her. 
Uh, that node, like, I think the highest health enemy is like 120,000 Rider. So she already hits it. Uh, probably pretty casually. And that's just like her turn one damage for her best setup is like more than what you need for that. Imagine her turn three. <laughs> um, that, yeah, Gray is great. Level her up. She will be, she is a good, even type neutral farmer. Doesn't need to be Ryder, so she just is best at fighting Riders. All right, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you enjoyed, drop a like or sub. Hope to see you in the next one. Peace.